WRC and Generations. May not be the, the hardcore simulator that I thought it was gonna be, but it's still a lot of fun, so of course we're back. I had an idea that's probably gonna end in me mingled in a ditch. I want to try one of these epic stages. And I hate using that word, but it's that's literally what they're called. The game calls them epic stages, so if you have a problem with that, take it up to WRC, okay? <laughs> this is probably gonna end horribly, but I need to sate my curiosity. It's the last time you're gonna see this car in one piece. Five, four. I woke three, up like it an two, hour ago, so one. you're getting early Let's morning growling me. Left, Why not? And jump over crest. And crest, break for flat right, tightens too long, 50 over crest. My only goal here is to actually make it to the end of the stage. Five and keep middle 50 over crest. Right five into bump into left six. Break tighten three. I just don't want to launch myself into the cliff. And flat right tightens over crest into left five long 30. For me, the hardest part about this right game is getting open, used to 30. how the drifting works. Left three opens 100. It's a lot looser than dirt to dirt rally to right four cuts into flat left through gate 30. caution break crest into right three and left four short into right three titans and flat left titans, the trick with these stages is that they're super super long Left four, long so like break. I said earlier, my only goal is to try to get to the end. Right one, don't count, 40. Ooh. Right four, 100. That turn. Left four opens through gate over tarmac. Left three, 30, bumpy. I really have to fight the impulse to yank the e-brake. Bumpy, this game just kind of slides on its own when you steer. Caution, left five, break into right four. I don't need these bushes anymore. Gravel. I'll just remove them for them. Flat right into flat left, 50. <sighs> Danger. And left two, slippy. Into flat right and right one short. And left two, don't cut, 50. Dip into left four, tightens. Ooh. And flat right, break for square right, don't cut over tarmac. And right three short into left four, short into right four. And left five, small cut, break for square right, Ooh. don't cut over gravel. Into tarmac right feels short, funny, I don't know why. Into right four and left four long, keep in. Into right four short at junction. And left five short over crest, into flat right. Into left three over crest, tighten two, into right four, big cut, bumpy 50. Left five into kinks. That's too much angle. Don't cut, tighten through water. Um. Into hairpin left, don't cut. Is this a section meant for cars? Into right three, into left three. So it feels a, a bit like a motocross section. And square right through gate, 50. That was the character model, by the way, in case you're wondering. That thing that blacked out the screen for a second. And left 
left for a long over bump. And this game's not perfect, three, but it's still really good. Into left five, keep in, 30. Ooh. Crest into left three, okay. into bump. Flat right and break for left three over crest. The track is over there. Flat yeah. right and break. We're just gonna accept that. <laughs> It's right going a little too fast. And by a little, I mean way too fast. Keep middle, jump over crest, 40, bumpy. Right three over bump, 40, bumpy. Into left four, tighten three. Into right four, into bump. And left three, short, slippy. And left four over crest, keep into right five short, 30. Right four over crest, open. And bump into left four, keep in. And it goes left there. Right into left two, tightens, 80. At least I noticed before I shot off the right side of the road. Right four, open. I don't like this having to manage my own windshield stuff. Keep in. And left four opens long and tightens short over crest. I'm still having trouble trying to figure out where where the line between grip and just sliding uncontrollably is. Bump into right four, don't cut, 60. Oh my goodness. Bump. Flat left, long. It's a little more than a bump. And left three, tightens over crest, into right five, 60. Flat right over bump, into caution, bump into right four, short, 30. Crest into left four, opens. And right three, opens, very long over bump. That's a problem. Left four, off camber, 30. Break, then left, into right three, long, bumpy, tightens. Stay in it. Watch out! Stay on the track! <sighs> oh my goodness. And caution, left five over jump, open. Four and flat right, long, tightens. And crest into right five, opens into jump over crest. I'd rather not jump, thank you. Caution, left five, short into right four through gate. And left five over bumps into right five, short. Caught the left side of the gate with my rear panel. Um. Huh. Weight transfer. Ugh. You're kidding. And right five of a crest. Titan three, very long, 30. Into I can't understand her half the time. <laughs> so she says right four, right five. But the way she says four and five are so similar, it's like I can't tell which one she just said. 
And now I'm stuck down here. Okay. Come on, let's focus. And luck three. And right four, very long, bumpy. And right four, off camber, don't cut. And flat left over jump, 30. Left five, narrows through gate, tightens four. And flat right over bump, tightens into left four short, 80. Crest, break, left four, tightens, don't cut, into right three short. Oh, uh. Left five. That could have been a lot worse. Into right three. And flat left into flat right over jump and left three long, 40 over crest. Flat right into left four short, don't cut. And right three short over crest, 50. Dip and crest into right five. Into left three, opens very long, 150. I think I said this in the last video, but the stages in this game look really good. Like this actually looks like woodland, and not just a bunch of trees randomly placed on either side of the road to make it look like windle, a woodland. Left four, break for square left over tarmac, 30. Right four, don't cut, narrows at junction, into left four. And right four, into hairpin right. And left five, tightens, junction left, into right four, 80. Right six, tightens, very long. Left four opens long. And right five into left four. Into right five into flat left. Oh my goodness, who would put a building and on the right side of the cliff left, there? Out, and left four opens. Jeez. One word erosion. And right four tighten. Into left three medium. Into right three, opens, 150. Well, I was gonna try to stay off the sidewalk, but I see lots of other tire marks on it, so... Right five, I guess we can 30. drive on it. Right five, over crest, into flat left, 30. This thing has left some four, insane tightens. braking power on tarmac. Into right three, tightens, and left three. Into flat right, tightens four short, into left three. Into right three for left three. Into right two, don't cut, into left four. Into right four, medium, tightens. And left four short, opens. And right four, keep in. And left three, into right four, 200. Six, medium, into left five, long. I don't trust myself on this skinny road. And right six, tightens, five. Into left five, opens for finish. Alright. Well, it got pretty rough there for a minute or two, but... That wasn't too bad overall, I don't think. I'd have to practice in this game a lot more, spend a lot more time driving in it before I could give specific opinions, criticisms, whatever you want to call it, on specific parts of the driving mechanics. But 
this game is definitely a lot more... I'm not sure what the word to use is. It's a lot more geared towards accessibility. Like, there's a lot of things in it that are specifically designed, I feel like anyways, um, for new players to try to help them drive better. I really wish I could turn some of that off. It's like the car trying to slide on its own. I mean, you're on dirt, so it's gonna slide when you steer, duh. But when I say that it tries to slide on its own, it's kind of like the... There's almost like... It kind of feels like there's an uh, assisted e-brake or something. So I don't really know what that's all about. It's almost like the game tries to help the car rotate further than it actually would. Maybe I'm just not used to it yet, but that's my impressions right now. The only thing about this game that I really get frustrated with is the co-driver. I feel like the co-driver, or the stage notes, um, you have to remember, when you're driving a rally car, they're not the only thing you're listening to. You're listening to your wheels, your engine, um, you're doing a lot of calculations in your head. There's a lot of stuff going on other than just listening to the co-driver. So a good co-driver will put emphasis on certain stage notes so that even if you don't hear the word clearly, you heard the rise and fall in their voice, their cadence or whatever, and you know when they do this, they're saying crest, right? Like, if you have a left three into crest and opens, a good co-driver would find certain ways to say, say those specific stage notes. So instead of like they're doing in this game where it's left three, crest, opens, it's like all of that's the same. There's no differentiation. If you say instead left three, crest, opens, you have that differentiation. And the driver, even if they don't hear your voice clearly, your words clearly, they hear your voice enough to know what you said, even though they didn't hear the word. So that's really the only thing that I find frustrating about this game is that the co-driver just kind of says everything exactly the same way. And if I don't hear the word clearly, because I'm hearing my engine or my tires sliding, or I'm trying to figure out why the back end is trying to pass me, and if I have enough space to correct that with the accelerator or not. You know, I have all of this stuff that I'm trying to figure out at the same time, and now I don't know what my co-driver said, and I have to take even just a fraction of a second to glance up to see what the symbol is for the stage note, and then look back down, figure out where I am, and keep going. Even just that fraction of a second of looking up can sometimes be the difference between sliding off a turn and not sliding. Things happen in fractions of a second in racing. If it takes a second to look up, well, that's ten times the length of time that it takes to realize a problem and correct it. So, that can be really frustrating, and it compounds, too, because now you're looking at the stage notes, looking back down, trying to figure out how to correct while still trying to listen to the co-driver, who's still saying everything in the exact same tone. So then you miss no more notes, and it just snowballs from there. But as far as the game itself goes, driving-wise, it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a little bit of those assists that I wish I could just shut off. I don't know if it's maybe... Maybe I'm just not used to it. Maybe it's not assists at all. It's just a much different car setup that I'm used to. So, take my criticism there with a grain of salt. I could be very wrong. But it feels like there's assists. And if there is, I wish I could turn those off. But that doesn't ruin it by any means. It's still a really fun game. And it's nice to have more variety of in rally content. Yep, not just for the channel, but for gaming in general. Because there for a while it seemed like Dirt was the only one. Besides some older ones that 
people are still playing because they're still amazing, but not everybody can get a hold of those, so <laughs> it's nice to have some newer games that are also good. Alright, well, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, share it if you want to, check out my channel, I do lots of things, chances are there's something else there that you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.